Hello, this is a video on changing or adding contacts to your Motorola XPR7550. The radio is going to boot on. Uh, you need to consider this contact list similar to a cell phone address book or contact list. Uh, you're going to hit this menu button right here that says OK. Contacts pops up. Select OK on contacts. You're going to hit the up and down arrows to browse to where it says manual dial add contact. New contact is what you want. So you can go the other way as well. New contact. Select OK. New radio contact. So right there on top. New contact. Radio contact. Select OK. Then you're going to put in the radio ID or number of the person you want to add. In this case, we're going to use zero. Actually, that's the back arrow to delete. We're going to use 119-3691. Zoom in on that. I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to prompt you for a name to go with that. I'm going to name it. Bob. Then I'm going to select OK. It's going to ask you for a ringer default tone. These are different tones you could give it to when they call you. I suggest just leaving it to default. Hit OK. And you get the notification check mark that it has been added in there. Uh, that way you can. Uh, scroll key up directly or when that person calls you you will actually be able to see a name versus a number same thing for editing the name you select a contact so say maybe you want to change the name of a person because they rather be called by a different way i'm gonna go for my main menu i'm gonna go to uh, menu button right here, contacts again, I'm going to select Bob which pops up right at the top and then I'm going to have a couple of options, I'm going to select edit because I want to edit the contact, the number stays the same, I don't want to change that, he has the same number, but he wants to be called Robert now, or let's just do Rob because that's probably easier. And to delete, you use the, the bottom arrow that the cursor has. And then I'm going to do R, R-O-B for Rob. And I'm going to hit OK. Same thing, default tone, check mark. So I have the same number for this person or contact, but now his name is Rob versus Bob. Uh, you could do the same thing for um, for anybody on your contact list. If you notice, it times out pretty quick. Um, if there's no activity while you're going through this change on any of the contacts, it'll just go back to the main screen and you have to start all over again. It might be a little frustrating at the beginning, uh, so you got to be pretty quick at it. You know, if you think about it too much. It's just going to fault out right there. Edit. If I'm thinking about it too long on what I want to do or want to change, it, uh, it's going to fault out pretty quick and you got to start all over. Right there, you got to start over. Okay? Hope this helps. Thank you.